Hi guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly and we're gonna be making some vanilla with a bottle of rum. We're actually, I think, gonna change the name of the channel to Rum and Sunshine instead of Whiskey and Sunshine. What do you guys think? Yay, nay, you don't really care? No, I'm just kidding, we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna make some vanilla, so I've seen a bunch of people do it online and on YouTube and as part of my pantry prep and just trying to get my baking goods in order so that I have stuff together to be able to bake whenever I want. Um, I thought that I would do this and see how it comes out. So I just got an inexpensive bottle of rum. Um, I don't know that it varies from what article you read to another article, whether you should buy high grade, middle of the road, you know, bottom shelf rum. This is bottom shelf rum. It was $10.99. I figure, what the heck, you know? Uh, so <laughs> that's what I got, the $10.99 rum, why not? Uh, and I've ordered on Amazon two packages of vanilla and they smell so good. I love the smell of vanilla. It's like one of my favorite smells. Um, and there's 10 pack. They were $13.99 each per 10 pack. So I bought two just in case. I'm glad I did because I think the recipe that I'm going to go by, I'm going to cut them down the middle and open them up, you know, get them opened up and stick them all, all 20 of these in this bottle. Close it up and I'm gonna keep it in a cool dark place and every so often I'm gonna go and shake it, give it a shake, give it a taste, I don't know, whatever I feel like. <laughs> um, I'm going to shake it and get it all shaken around for about six to eight weeks then you can start using it. They really say you should wait, you know, like six months or so. It's all, you know, it's gonna be sitting in there for quite a while. If you come to, you run out and you really, really need to use it, I don't think it's gonna harm anything. Um, as long as you wait for the six weeks. Now these are the, I had to write it down because I can't remember this much stuff. These are to, uh, these are Madagascar vanilla beans. There's three different kinds, I guess. So these are the Madagascar. These are the grade B and they're creamy and bold flavor is what they are. I did not choose them for that. I chose them because of the price. It was like $26, $27, $26 and change for these. So that was affordable for a big jug of vanilla. I thought that would be pretty good. Um, the next one is the Mexican vanilla. That's a robust flavor. Uh, it's robust and smooth. So that sounds good too. And then there's Tahitian vanilla. That's the most common it says, and it's a floral, floral flavor um, and it's a rich flavor. So, I don't know if that's what you buy in the store. I have no idea. Um, I try not to buy imitation vanilla when I buy it. I like a good vanilla taste in my baking, but if that's all there is, that's what I buy because I just like the vanilla taste. And if it's, if it's not real vanilla, then oh well. But I do like the real vanilla. So it says five beans per eight ounces of... Um, liquid, whatever you're going to use. You could use vodka, you could use whiskey, you know, whatever you decide you want to use for a liquid for these. I wanted rum because I like rum. And if we have to go to drinking it, I could drink vanilla rum. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, and it would be mine, all mine. <laughs> so we're just going to get started. So I'm just going to open these up. You can smell them right through the bag. I forgot I ordered them. And when I went to the post office, I pulled the bag out of the little, um, the little locker thing. And I was like, oh, what smells so good? I kept sniffing it and I'm like, what is that? And then when I opened it and I went, oh, it's my vanilla beans. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, they came so quick. 
And I'll leave a link down below of the ones that I bought if you're interested um, in buying some. So these are pretty cool. They're all, you know, like pliable, I guess. Malleable. I don't know what you call it. I don't know. But anyway, they smell so good. I almost want to keep one out just so I can just have it to sniff. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is bring it over here so you can see what I'm doing. This is going to take a while, but you want to just go down the middle very carefully. You don't want to cut your fingers off. And you just want to get those open. Now, sometimes some recipes call for vanilla bean, and people like to actually use the vanilla bean. And what you do is you slice it open, and you take your knife and you scrape it down inside. And then can you see... Can you see, those are the beans in there. And those are gonna go right into, oh no, I'm losing them. No, you're gonna go in my, my rum. All right, we'll open the bottle. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna put that whole bean right in there. I'm not gonna, they say to scrape it out and then, and then put your bean in there too. I think that's, I don't know. It's already gonna be open. So, I wish we had smell-o-vision, because if you like vanilla, oh man, oh man. I've got it under my nails and everything. Okay. Oh, God. So there, just cut that open, plopping it in there. Okay, guys, so here's the beans in the rum. Put them all in the bottle. There's 10 of them in there. Uh, I just opened them all up, right, split them right down the middle with the knife, like I showed you, and I didn't bother scraping the beans out. And just by shaking it a little bit, you know, kind of moving it around, I see that they're kind of floating in there. So um, hopefully you can see it. But, and it's starting to get a dark tinge to it. So it's working, which is exciting. So I'm just gonna stick it in the pantry and, um, cool and dark in there. I'm going to stick it in there and let it just soak in all the vanilla bean. And every once in a while when I walk by, I'll just give it a shake and um, move it around a little. And then in six to eight weeks, we'll take a look and see what we have. It should be a dark vanilla color by then. It's already starting to get dark. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work good. And I'm excited to use it. And in my baking and hopefully I will have enough so that I can um, share it. Also, I believe you can use these beans two more times. So if I decide to buy another bottle, a smaller bottle, whatever, um, I can open this up and pour out what I have left and pour a new bottle in or however I'm gonna, whatever I wanna put it into and uh, soak the beans again and just do it over two more times, I believe is what I can do. So I can make quite a bit and I should be able to get a bunch done before Christmas and maybe Christmas presents, I can give out some bottles of vanilla. So I'm pretty excited about that. So anyway, stick around for the update. Hit the subscribe button, the bell, and hit all and that way you'll get the update when I put it out to find out how this worked um, and if it worked and uh, give it a little taste and see what it tastes like. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, and have a good day.